Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for today's meditation. Again, Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 8. Jeremiah 38. For it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from your neck and will burst your bonds. Foreigners shall no more, shall no more enslave them. Hereafter, no. This is what we have been meditating from yesterday onwards. And I've been talking to you about three things that God spoke to us yesterday. And God has promised us these three things. What is that? Number one, no more wandering. Number two, no more wicked shall pass through you. Number three, no more enslavement. This is what we meditated yesterday. And for all of this, we need to have an encounter with God. That is what we meditated yesterday. I have just recapped it. Number four, number four, what has God promised? You know, I, I just want to remind you of something and that is to have an encounter with God, to come closer with God is very important in our life. Let me remind it again and again as the Spirit of the Lord leads me. You look at the life of Jacob. Jacob had an encounter with God and from then onwards, his life changed. He was a deceiver but now when he had an encounter with God in a place called Luz where God gave him a vision then he moved on to his uncle's house and there in his uncle's house his uncle cheated him but this Jacob did not cheat his uncle even once he was faithful he was completely transformed his old nature did not return back to him that is what an encounter with God does in our life a complete transformation and again he meets God and he fights yes because his brother is going to come he's coming with 400 people and now this Jacob he wanted to meet God and he stayed back he sent everything out the other side of river Japok and he stayed back with God and all throughout the night he fought and God touched his socket and he started to limp there was a transformation yes there was a change from then on he started limping and his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. God, when you meet God, yes, there is a, there is a transformation that takes place. And from then onwards, here afterwards, yes, there is a big change. And what are the blessings? What are the changes that we, will, we are going to see in our life? From here on, what are the promises? Number four, Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 12, it says like this, Jeremiah 31, 12. Therefore, they shall come and sing in the height of Zion streaming to the goodness of the Lord for wheat and new wine and oil for the young of the flock and the herd their souls shall be like a well watered garden and they shall sorrow no more at all no more sorrows or no more weariness yes why because the one who come to the top place or the height of Zion. Look at this verse again. Let me show you one word from verse number 12. The first part of the verse number 12. Therefore they shall come and sing in the height of Zion. In the height of Zion. In the height of Zion. Just underline that in the height of Zion. When I say in the height of Zion, when the word says in the height of Zion, it talks about the peak of God's presence. Yes. Many times we want to come to the presence of God. We sing, we worship, we lift our voice louder and all that. Yes, that is good. But we need to come to the height of God's presence where we hear His voice, where we hear His plan. When Moses went to the top of that Mount Sinai, he heard the voice of God and there he got the plan of God. He, God gave him the Ten Commandments. God gave him the blueprint of the tabernacle. All of this was God in the height the presence of God, we need to come to the height. Not just singing is a presence of God. But we need to come to the height, to the topmost place. And when we come to the topmost place, wow, there is something special waiting for us. God says, when, you, when, I, when He speaks to you, your sorrows, it flies away. When He gives you the plan, oh, you are strengthened. This word God does in your life. Number five, Joel chapter 3 verse 17. Look at Joel chapter 3 verse 17. So you shall know that I am the Lord your God dwelling in, the, in Zion, my holy mountain. You shall know 
you shall know that I am the Lord, your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then Jerusalem shall be holy and no aliens shall ever pass through her again. No aliens shall ever pass through her again. God says, no more strangers will pass through. When? When you know that He is the Holy God. Hallelujah. When you know that your God whom you worship is holy, no more strangers. When I say no more strangers, who are the strangers? Anything that has nothing to do with heaven is a stranger. Anything that has nothing to do with heaven. Anything that has nothing to do with your God. Anything that has nothing to do with heaven because we are citizens of heaven. And so anything of this world is a stranger. And that has nothing to do with us. And the Lord says, no more strangers will pass by you. No more strangers. No more those serials. No more those stories. No more those unnecessary books. No more those filthy pictures. No more those chats. No more those unnecessary conversations. Those strangers will not pass through you if you will understand and know your God is holy. No more. Finally, number six. Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 28. Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 28. Therefore, say to them, Thus says the Lord God, None of my words will be postponed anymore. None of my words shall be postponed anymore. But the word which I speak will be done, says the Lord God. His word will not be postponed. No more postponement. God is not going to delay His word. He's going to fulfill His word. This is a promise for you today. Every word of promise that God has given you, every word that God has spoke to you, He's going to fulfill in your life. God says, I'm not going to postpone. I'm going to do it. Today, my friend, from now on, there are three things that we meditated today. From now on, no more sorrows and worries. No more strangers will pass by you. No more postponement. And for all this, number one, you need to come to the top of that mountain. Top of the presence of God. Where you can hear the voice of God. Where you're completely detached from this world. Completely disconnected from this world. And you are alone with God. Yes, that is when you hear Him. Number two, no more strangers will pass through you when you know that He is the Holy God. Number three, believe in the word of God. It is not going to be postponed. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this word. Thank you for speaking to us. What a beautiful word to strengthen us this morning. Lord, as everyone has heard your word, bless them abundantly and strengthen them, O oh God. Help them to come to your presence, to the peak of your presence. Help them, Lord, to know that you are holy God and help them to believe in you and receive these blessings. Give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.